I would have walked right past that. Listed it for $999.99 and took a best offer of $800. <laughs> that is awesome. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. These items come from my Facebook group members and my YouTube Bolo Buddies members. All right, these are some big money bolos. Let me tell you, you're going to want to watch the entire video, okay? So I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It is share your best January bolo. And in this video, I'm going to tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And woo-wee! And wait until you see what we're going to start out with. Did I just say woo-wee? I did. I sure did. All right. If you are not in my Facebook group, bam, this is what it looks like. Go and follow. It's free. It's free to follow. It's free to share a post in this video. For this video, just go to the announcements section and look for share your best February bolo. Um, if it's not up yet, it will be coming soon. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first one comes from Bolo Buddies member amazing steals and deals. And when I tell you he is like a huge money bolo finder, oh my goodness. I will link his store down in the description of the video. Um, check it out and be sure to click on that heart and follow him, okay? Anybody that is a, a YouTube channel member, that means they have joined memberships at level two, um, they will get a pop up in the video and a link down below. So definitely check out that description because these channels and eBay stores are bolo finders. All right, so let's talk about this bolo. Bought it in an estate sale for, oh, a jewelry five pound bag for $50. This guy scores all the time. He sold this one piece for $425 in one day. One day, okay? This is what it looks like. It says, Carolyn Pollock, Naja, American West... 925 turquoise squash blossom necklace. So another thing you can do when you look at these eBay stores is look at their keywords because they have amazing keywords. Jewelry, I'm horrible at keywords. Like I'm bringing that stuff to whatnot because I don't know keywords. So check me out on whatnot. There's a link down below. All right, here is his second bolo. This was also in the jewelry bag, so only about $1.25 in it, and sold it for $200. It is a James Avery 14 karat yellow gold dangle ring with descending dove size four, and it's 2.68 grams. And check out the photo. I mean, classy. All right. And his final one is another piece of jewelry. He says, these were from my mother's estate, so free, but sold within three days for $85. And I have another 10 pair to list. They are 1985 new old stock banana bob, banana bob, brass tone, pink crystals, floral hearts, pierced earrings. I have never heard of that brand, but banana bob, I guess is a bolo, $85 there. All right, the next item is another jewelry piece. There's a lot of jewelry. We're just beginning and already have four bolos. Oh my goodness. Are you ready for this? January 1st, my first sale of the year. Oh my gosh. And it is a good one. Purchased at a resale shop for $69.99 because it just looked really eye-catching. No markings, so it was a blind buy. Listed it for $999.99 and took a best offer of $8 hundred dollars. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, vintage Juliana de, de la Zia and oh my goodness, it's so small. Um, Alistair red etched flower Peru 60s rare find. I don't know. I'm going to pop it up right here. You can see all those words that I mispronounced and um, I wonder if there were no markings how she figured out 
who the maker was. So let us know if you're watching how you figured out the maker. That is incredible. Because I know it's kind of hard with a Google Lens to look up jewelry. All right, let's see what else we have. Oh, somebody wrote, how did you find out what... Um, I've got the answer. Somebody asked, how did you eventually find out what it was what it was, brand name. I wouldn't know where to start other than Google search and multitudes of jewelry came up. Uh, she put Google Lens and then had a jewelry group on Facebook. Yes, so you guys, Google Lens is fantastic, but if you can't find it on Google Lens, there are different groups on Facebook that specialize in special categories like vintage jewelry, vintage toys, kids toys, you know, just American Girl dolls. If you find those groups, post your picture, they love telling you what you have. So definitely keep that in mind. I got this in a storage locker, bought the entire locker for $40. I listed it for $125 and took a best offer of $115. It is a vintage Chingon chain steering wheel, three-spoke chrome OG low rider, eight-inch chain link. And this is what it looks like. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> All right, it's low rider. Do you guys remember that song? I won't sing it. I'll spare you, but oh my goodness. Anyway, um, I bought these from a Facebook Marketplace seller, all for $75, and buyer paid full price for all six, plus shipping, of $539.94. Took three months to sell. It is a 2016-2021 Tacoma TRD Pro Style Grill. So it's a car part. Uh, wow, that's impressive right there. I would have walked right past that. Okay, we've got Lola's Trunk Treasures. This is her eBay store right here. Picked up at the Goodwill for $6, took a best offer of $51 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $67.43 and it is a replacement for one that got broken in a move. It is a lot, I'm sorry, oh, oh, Yadro. This is one of those words that I used to say wrong. Yadro, white porcelain kissing dove wedding anniversary love bird figurine. Paid 50 cents, total of $4 at a local thrift store. Took a best offer of $48. Sold within two days of listing. These are some of my favorite things to flip right now if I find them for the right price. It is a leapfrog, leap start, 3D spiral bound book, lot of eight, level one, preschool age, two to four. So took a best offer of 48. She's got two, four, six, eight of them. So yeah, four bucks. She already told me the total. This is what they look like. This one comes from The Quiet Thrifter, and this is her eBay store. It will also be linked down below. She said, I bought this at a church fundraiser garage sale for $1. Ran on a seven-day auction, and the winner paid 86 plus shipping. It says, framed antique Spanish retablo, retablo artwork, San Francisco de Paula art, 8 by 10 And this is what it looks like. Rivet utility corduroy coveralls jumpsuit. Purchased at the Salvation Army for $1 and sold for $200. Wow rivet huh that must be the brand all right here's the next one this one sold on mercari hi i sold this vintage sasha from england doll for a best offer of 120 dollars on mercari no box or accessories on her other than what she had on the doll that you see like right here in the picture i had her listed for about three months i found her at the goodwill bins and paid two dollars for her thank you for all your sh all the sharing always learning something in this group so it's a Sasha doll. I don't know if I've ever seen a Sasha doll. So that is good to know. She is made in England, it looks like. Ozo Bot Marvel Spider-Man and Venom Robotics Starter Pack. <laughs> uh, $5 at the Goodwill and sold it for $135 on Mercari. You guys, if you're not on Mercari, definitely consider it. I have a referral link down below where you will get... Um, when you join, you'll get $10 to shop. Once you sell $100 worth of stuff, you'll get another $20 to shop. So um, I shop on Mercari all the time. I love it. But anyway, he sold this thing for $135. And it was at the Goodwill for five. So a lot of people are saying they can't find stuff at the Goodwill. Uh, are you finding stuff at the Goodwill? I have one locally that is way overpriced. 
Um, but the other one isn't too bad. So it really just depends, I think, on your goodwill. For real friends, Lulu. Picked up at a garage sale for $5, had it listed for five months, and sold it for $140. So, for real friends, do I pick them up? Yes. If they are pre-owned, are they big money? Sometimes. They can do well. Um, if I can get them for five bucks or less, I pick them up. This one is new old stock. So, what that means is it's still in the original packaging. And it's probably a retired item. So yes, anything new old stock, pick it up. All right, awesome. Paid $25 at an estate sale. I sell mostly vintage items, toys and knickknacks, but thought this looked like something good. And it was. A winter ski suit designed by Joan Theismann for Bong Bogner. White snowsuit Southwest. And it sold for $198. So that is fantastic. $25 into $198. Would you have picked up this snowsuit? Let me know down in the comments. I might have. And I like not really doing clothes. But that is pretty cool. Okay, this one comes from Franklin Hill Ventures. And he's not putting a whole lot on YouTube right now. He is really doing amazing over on Whatnot, so definitely check him out over there. He does a lot of ephemera, but he also has a lot of like antique uh, flea market type booths. Um, I'm not sure what they're exactly called out. Antique mall. He's in an antique mall. There it is. Picked up this set of hand carved horns from another antique mall for 28 and sold them in one of my antique booths for 125 So he's going around shopping the antique mall, buying up the items and flipping them in his for more. So that is where it just pays to know what you know, to know the right things. And maybe he has a better market in the booth he is in, you know, like the antique mall he's in. Maybe it's a better, higher, higher end so he can get more for his stuff. I don't know. But, or the other person just undersold it. It's just like any selling platform, you know, you're looking for the good deals. So this is his photo and you can see this is his booth and he has a picture pointing to what he sold. Bought at a thrift shop for $2.99, sold within a week of listing for $149.99. Rare Disney Parks exclusive Princess Tiana sold out high heel shoe ornament. How fantastic is that? Wow, three bucks at a thrift shop into $149.99. Do not skip out on those ornaments. Some of them are definitely big money. Bought it in an estate sale for $25. Took about a month to sell. Sold for full asking of $200. It is a Van Door The Beatles Magical Mystery Tour Globe Limited Edition. So it looks like it's a water globe. Five rolls of wallpaper purchased at the Goodwill. Paid $12.00. For all five and sold for 250 it is schumacher wallpaper and imperi imperial trellis ivory slash something now i will say be careful using the word ivory in your title i have heard people say that sometimes they've had an issue with that um i don't know if it's really a big issue i guess let me know in the comments have you ever had a listing removed because you were using the word ivory as a color because you can't sell ivory on eBay. So it's kind of like one of those trigger words. Paid $3 at the thrift store during half off clothing day. Sold in under 24 hours for full asking price of $59.99. They are Rosignol, R-O-S-S-I-G-N-O-L, Sapphire Ski Boots, Cross Country, Women's Size 7. And it says... N, N, N bindings. And this is what it looks like. Sorry, some of the pictures are really small. So I have to get close to my computer to read what it says. The next one comes from Bolo Buddies member 1987 Ventures. That is her um, Instagram and her YouTube name. So be sure to check her out on both. She said, I got this vintage foam trucker hat, Pontiac Fiero from Hall and Oates. It's a promotional hat. I paid about 50 cents for it and a tote full of vintage hats I scored at a yard sale. I started it high and let it go. I got an offer on eBay for 60, free shipping, about five. He left great feedback. So she sold it for $60 with free shipping. Bought this original bop 
It's actually a Bop It Extreme at Goodwill for $1.99. These aren't big money, but always sell fast within a day or two. This one had paint wear, so listed it at $24.99 and it sold in a day for my sale price of $21.24. I always pick these up when I see them. So she's saying it's not necessarily a big money bolo, but it sells fast for her consistently. So those are always good to know about for sure. Um, somebody in the Facebook group said, define bolo. And you know, I think bolo is of such a broad term. It's be on the lookout. And I think we're all different, like what we look for. Um, I have tons of bread and butter bolos, items that you know, I sell for $35 or less that I am looking for on a consistent basis because I know they sell quick or I know they sell. So um, what's your definition of a bolo? Let me know in the comments. All right. Part of an auction lot, average cost of goods, $1.33, sold for full price. It is a vintage tin litho wind-up clockwork walking turtle toy made in Japan, trademark K. And it's a little tin toy. How cute is that? Pick up at the Goodwill bins for $1.50. Missing one button, but still sold on Poshmark after three days for $68. It's a vintage Pendleton wool overshirt, shacket, shacket, blazer, blue, white, plaid, large, and it says virgin. Okay, so let me tell you my little story about vintage clothing. So I did like an estate clean out, sort of, um, where I was getting all of these clothing items from an estate and there was a bunch of Pendleton, but it had moth holes in it, right? So I donated all of that because I was like, well, somebody might still want it, but I didn't think I could still sell it. So I donated all of it. And then my friends were telling me that I should have kept those items because people repurpose the material. And I'm like, how did I not know this? So I'm telling all of you, if you get wool that's like Pendleton or a really good brand, even if it has like the moth bites, the little holes in them, they will still sell. So um, probably not for as much, but don't be like me and donate them. So anyway, there's your little tip of the video, your little Bolo Buddies tip. And um, one of the people that told me that was Farm Girl, um, Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. That is her YouTube channel and her Instagram channel. And she is also now on Whatnot. And she is a wealth of knowledge. She's also a moderator of the Facebook group. So um, go show her some love with a sub. All right, let's do one more. And then we are gonna end this video and I'm gonna do another one. <laughs> There'll be quite a few this month. There were like 330 comments. Thank you guys all so much for sharing. I purchased this for $12 at an online estate sale. It sold for $120. It even had a headlight that had that I had to glue back on, indicated in description and with a picture. The buyer paid $135.51 and it sold within 10 days of listing. It's a Franklin Danbury Mint uh, Food Model T Miller's Beer Delivery Truck. And this is what it looks like. I tell you guys all the time that I sell broken items all the time and um, just disclose it, disclose it. Um, another thing that I've taught you guys in the past, like when I do my list with me videos that I haven't done forever, I'm sorry. Um, if you are listing from your phone, you cannot do this. You have to go in to your computer, but under the new with tags or new without tags or um, used pre-owned, there is a little box on your computer where you can put any defects. So if you are listing from your phone, I recommend that you go into that listing from a laptop or a desktop and you add the defects or the issues, any condition issues to that box. You want your buyer to know anything that's wrong with the item. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And let me know which one was your favorite bolo. Thanks for watching. I'm going to try not to do that. I noticed in one of my videos the other day, I was like, hmm, like all throughout the video, I kept touching my chin and I'm like, what am I doing touching my chin like that? All right. So 